What's going on, everybody? You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. Game day is just around the corner. We're going to answer some questions about it from subscribers. Let's do it. Micah Gibson says they're heartbroken ever since the loss against the Buffalo Bills. What about signing Tyler Smith and or Connor Williams this offseason? Look, the Giants are projected to have the $55 to $60 million in cap space this offseason. Um, Adore Jackson's coming off the books. Leonard Williams is coming off the books. Saquon Barkley may be coming off the books. They're going to cut Mark Lewinsky. They might, may cut Darius Slayton. Um, they're going to have money to spend. And Micah, I'm right there with you. I honestly don't care who it is, but you need to sign two veteran quality offensive linemen, two people that can be starters on this team, preferably at the left guard spot and the right guard spot. And if Evan Neal struggles the rest of the years, kick his big ass into right guard and then go sign a right tackle. Um, and you still draft a couple. So I'll be honest with you. Brian Dable and Joe Shane are safe. Their seat's not hot, and it should not be. This is always going to be a rebuild. But if the problem that was a problem in year one, which was the O-line, and if a problem that was a problem in year two was the offensive line, is a problem in year three, yeah, seat's going to be hot for those two. At all costs, fix this offensive line. For once in all, God damn it. Steven, what up, brother? He says... Two in the chest of 26, we would have won that game. Ball in the chest of 26 at the one-yard line. Hard to disagree with that, but the Giants did get stopped on two-third and shorts by giving the ball to Saquon Barkley. They also got stopped on the goal line giving the ball to Saquon Barkley. And if you watch that play, the offensive line gets blown up. Thing is, Steven, it's the wrong call because it didn't work. And that's how sports work. Because if you give the ball to Saquon Barkley there and they don't score, you know what we're all saying? How'd you give it to Barkley? Everyone knew it was going to Barkley. How come you didn't throw it? That's what professional sports is. It's the right call if it works. It's the wrong call and if it doesn't. It didn't work. Um, I don't mind the call. Darren Waller was held the entire time. No if fans were butts about it. You know it's a hold. When your friends that aren't Giants fans tell you it's a hold. It was a freaking hold. Nicole O'Brien coming in with a $10 super chat. Nicole, thank you for supporting the channel. Hope all is well. We really appreciate this. Just want to say, hope the Giants trade Barkley. Good corner still. Wait. I want to say, hope I Giants trade. You want the I hope the Giants trade Barkley. Good cornerstone player. Help offense God in locker room. Good locker room? It sounds like you're making a case for you don't want to trade him. And I understand that because you know what, Nicole? One day I'm on this side of the fence. I want the Giants to keep Saquon Barkley. Then the other day, I'm on this side of the fence, and I'm like, you know what, Giants got to trade, and they got to get some assets. So right now, I am riding the post of what to do with Barkley. At the end of the day, he's on an expiring deal. He's a running back, and he's going to be, I believe, 28. It might be 27 in the offseason. I think it's 28. He's getting closer to 30. And Giants have a decision. They didn't want to pay him last year. He's a year older now. Does that, I think that factors in the extension talk. I think they could get a third-round pick for him. You trade him for a third-round pick. I'm not sure. Hell of a leader. Hell of a football player. Face this organization. I love him. You love him. I bought his jersey on draft day. It's going to be a sad day if he's ever not a New York Giant. Sometimes in life, you got to take one step back to take two steps forward. And with the holes that the Giants have on this team across the offensive line, can you afford to pay Saquon Barkley? I learned this a long time ago from a wise buddy. He said, you don't build a run game in the NFL around a running back. You build a run game around the offensive line. The best run games in the NFL are based on the five guys with their hands on the dirt not the one touching the football. And right now, we don't have that. If we did and we had Barkley, he'd be the best in the league. And he's damn good because he just put up 95 yards against the Bills with a bad O-line. <sighs> Does he want to be here? Anymore? I, wouldn't, I wouldn't blame him if he said no. Should the Giants trade Barkley? I'm extremely conflicted. One week I say yes, one week I say no. I'm a fan just like you, I'm extremely passionate. And my heart is always on my sleeve, maybe a little bit too much. What do you think? Should the Giants trade Saquon? 
it's really type T for trade, type R for resign, because those are the only two options. But let's do T for trade, K for keep. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. <sighs> Sway me, because I don't know. I don't know. Rashad McCory. What up, McCory? What up, man? Do we lose to the bad teams and get a premium pick, or do we ball hard and stay in mediocrity? You know, Rashad, Rashad, just go out and play games. You just go out and play games. If you win, you win. Never going to be mad at the Giants for winning the football game. If you lose, you lose. Look, you don't tank. You don't tank in the NFL. It's not a thing. Um, people's lives are at the line when they play. Ask Daniel Jones and his neck. Um, you just play the games. If you win, you win. If you don't, you don't. I think it's kind of just that simple, Brody. That's where I kind of stand on that. Justin, what up? Do you think Tyrod Taylor can be can be better than Daniel Jones? I think it's concerning that the offense may have looked a little bit better with Jones. He did have 26 behind him, and that guy's always going to make a big difference. But even some of the throws and even some of the plays, like I thought Tyrod looked a little bit better. I think kind of what I'm coming to is Daniel Jones can do more with more, and Tyrod Taylor can do more with less. Even that's a problem. You have a backup quarterback making $5 million. You got a starting quarterback making $40 million. When they play, it should look like a completely different product out there. And not only did it look a little bit better, um, it wasn't even close. There should be a drastic difference. There wasn't, and that's, that's concerning for me. So. I do want to give a shout-out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use the promo code CLNS. And Prize Picks is going to match your first deposit up to $100. If you like playing daily fantasy sports and you want to real, win real money doing so, get hooked up with Prize Picks because it's daily fantasy made easy. I'll break it down to you the easiest way possible. Prize Picks sets a stat projection for a whole bunch of different stats for every single individual player. You create a lineup of certain players and the projected stat lines for prize picks, and you simply select more if you think there's going to be more and less if you think it's going to be less. You can do two to six players. The more players you have, up to six, the higher the payout and multiplier is going to be of your potential winnings. These are the picks that I'm going to roll with this upcoming Sunday. I'm going to go with more rushing yards for Josh Jacobs more than half a touchdown for Tyreek Hill, and more than 68 and a half rushing yards for Saquon Barkley. You can roll with my picks, you can fade my picks, or you can make picks of your own. Just do it with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS to get that $100 match, or up to $100 match when it comes to the deposit bonus. J Sports Card coming with a super, char super charge, super chat, what up, man? What would you think of Drake May in New York Giants blue? I think Drake May is going to be a good quarterback in this league. Um, I think Drake May, if this current Drake May came out last year, he would have been the number one overall pick over Bryce Young. I think Drake May is one of the better quarterback prospects we've seen in a while. Reminds me of Justin Herbert. I just don't think he has as strong of an arm as Justin Herbert. But he's athletic like him. He's big, tall, and strong like him. He can rip it all over the yard for multiple arm angles. He's a good player, man. He really, really is. And if the Giants end up with him, that means you had a top five pick, and that means you're hitting the reset button. So I'm going to be a little bit upset about it because this team was one win away from the conference championship last year. At the end of the day, if you're picking inside the top five, probably means there's a problem at the QB position. So I'm not going to be too upset. King Lobo, 999. What up, Brody? What games is the Giants winning from the remaining schedule? Um, look, you get Washington. I'm going to pop that up, Jack, real quick. We had that uh, in there. Um, the schedule gets a little bit easier the rest of the way. By no means is it a cakewalk, but you play some teams that are reeling right now. Let's be honest. The Commanders are not good. The Raiders are not good. The Patriots are not good. The Packers are not good. The Saints are not good. That is potentially five wins right there. Can you steal a game for Zach Wilson and the Jets? Can you beat Washington twice? And week 10 is going to be tough versus the Cowboys. Let's say this, though. Optimistic Martian here. Two wins versus the Commanders. You beat Zach Wilson in the battle in New Jersey. 
You beat the Raiders and their sorry ass led by who's their quarterback at this point? Brian Hoyer? You beat Mac Jones in the second worst offense in the NFL and the Patriots. You beat the Packers and you beat the Saints. That's seven wins right there. Obviously, you know, NFL, anything can happen. So much so, we almost beat the Bills on primetime football. Um, and then could maybe you steal one versus the Rams. If so, that's nine wins. That's nine wins. I'm not here to sell you a dream. I truly believe that the Giants can beat all those teams. Those teams aren't good. We may not be good either, but it's what I believe. It really is. Predict the Giants' final record for me. I want to hear what you guys got to say. Predict the Giants' final record for me down in the comments section. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're going to continue to put out content every single day here on Chat Sports. So sub for Giants. Dub. Nope, coming in with a question. Says, if you had to pick a position on defense to improve, what would it be? It's a really good question. <clears throat> you had to pick a position on defense to improve. Edge rushers. Edge rushers. Um, yeah, Jihad Ward and Boogie Basham rushing, rushing the passer last night. Look, if you could turn injuries off and Aziz Ojolari was able to play, I think this pass rush could be good. I think Kayvon Thibodeau is a good player. Um, still young, still has a ways to go. Missed an opportunity against the Buffalo Bills. Had Allen wrapped up and missed a tackle. But it would be edge. Because if this team could get home with four, they would be much better on defense. And they're already kind of decent, solid on defense. Did a good job on Sunday night. But it would be edge rusher on defense for me, though. Good question. Caesar, thoughts on trading players like Adori and Leo for other players instead of picks? You know, I haven't thought of that, Caesar, trading our players for other players. I would just rather picks because if you're trading your guys, you're kind of accepting that the season may be a wrap. And I would like, if we're going to do that, to have picks in the future to make this team better. So I honestly wouldn't do it unless I think that those players we're getting back are better because if you're just getting equal talent, you weren't winning with these guys, you're probably not going to win with the other guys. I, I, I would much rather picks. Good question, though. I'm thought about. Jared, hey Marshall, I would like to know what do you think about Dable saying he's playing Hyatt and Robinson more? Thank God. Thank God, Jared. I've been begging for Hyatt to play. And I'm a big fan of Wandale Robinson. I think still it might have been a little bit, bit of a reach when Joe Shane took him in the 2022 NFL draft in the second round. But I see a guy that could be a long term slot receiver in this league. Um, I think he's going to be a good, good player. Really do. Good question, Brody. Justin Noodles. Who were your top five players in the Giants offense last night by performance? What about defense? Saquon Barkley, Justin Pugh, Wandale Robinson, Jalen Hyatt, Darius Slayton. Did I say Tyrod Taylor? I'll throw Tyrod. I'll give you six in there. On defense, Micah McFadden, Bobby Okereke, I thought Dex played all right. I thought Leonard Williams played all right. Um, I thought Deontay Banks played pretty good, too. I've been impressed with by the rookie corner. Maybe that's a light, uh, a light to look at in this season. Maybe the Giants got an elite cornerback one down the road because I like what I've seen from them. Nicole, what up, what up? Thank you again for a super chat, Nicole. Don't want to trade Barkley or Slayton. Only two players I'd upset be upset to lose in the offseason. Look, I would be upset, too, if the Giants lost Saquon Barkley. Uh, I remember in, what was that, 2018 when they drafted the second overall pick, and all night long after that draft, I was watching Saquon Barkley highlights till the wee hours of the morning. Uh, I actually wanted the Giants to take Saquon Barkley. Uh, I was pounding the table for him to do that. Go get the best playmaker possible. And he's been the face of our organization, best player to put on a jersey for the Giants since Eli Manning. Um, I think we may just be coming to the end of the road there. Slayton, on the other hand, I think he's been a good receiver for us. Um, I don't know if they will cut him, but they'll look at it. You could save $7 million. You can get another receiver for $7 million. He may be a little bit better than Slayton. I think Slayton's a good player. Um, I think he's a wide receiver three. But um, Nicole, there is a chance that both those people could be off this team next year. No doubt about it. Close the show with this question. Are the Giants 
the worst team in the NFL. Can't believe producer Jack's making me ask this question. Are the Giants the worst team in the NFL? Yeah. So. Why for yes and for no? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it.